Well, this is what a car boot looks like at, what time is it? What time we've got it, it took us an hour to get it. Quarter to six in the morning. Set off at four. Hard to see we're in. Does has got his light on. Go on, don't. Get it, get it lit up, mate. <laughs> Nightmare. We're old, man. Let's see, see what I'm looking at. Safety, like. You were in there for about four weeks and he had to be in the hospital. Can you see what that? Anyway, when he woke up, he was sitting there. Sharp foot. Anyway, it's like, have a look at it. I don't want to see it. Star Wars, Pokemon. Lego. No, I've never put offers on it to be honest, mate. If people know what it is, then I know. <sighs> Nothing better, is there, than Christmas? Nothing better. Especially when you've got young kids as well, it's just. Yeah, it's yeah, the best thing you can go. Shout out to. Uh, seven foot. Thing that Shout out to matey boy who took the picture, appreciate it, made our day. Cheered us up a bit. Yeah, well worth. This is more our sort of thing, isn't it? A bit of house clearance in. <coughs> Music playing in the background though, so. Film for much. I guess I'll say it's a decent camera because that's what it says on the box. Well, yeah, I know that. Another picture of the Traveller. Never heard of that before. Nice charge, I think. <coughs> How much is your camera? Uh, camera. Three quid. Three quid. Take it, mate. Just it. Don't buy any chance of any change for a ten pound, yeah? I don't, mate. You got a free quid. You'll be, you'll be it. Yeah, we weren't very well prepared. Five was I made this morning. How you feel you could do it? Got to keep mine in. Thank you, bud. Cute. Cheers, bud. Thank you. Cheers, bud. Got these for a fiver. Push for baby tags. Size 12. Have a date. That's it. 3D printing. Oh, it is 3D printing. It's a wicked, that, isn't it? Quite a lot of shoes here. Don't know how much they are, they're probably like a lot of money. Probably reseller, shall we? How much you got on your Crocs? Um, I've got a tenner on the Crocs, and that's all I'm asking for them. I think it's expensive. <laughs> Two smaller ones up the side of these. Yeah, there's some really, I mean, some of them make Oh, yeah. Too much for me. Three nice pairs, though. Not for 30 quid, though. Hey, I reckon I should buy this tiger. Is it a blanket? What is it? Carpet, isn't it? For the shed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. 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 No good for me. Now you'll have a busy day. Yeah. 50p. This is my sort of stuff. Where's the bargain? I don't know. Nothing 50p. Unless you want a skateboard. Six. 
Ouais, 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 I'll take these for Thank you very much. It's a little light. Oh, yeah. Putting three USB. Three, won't it? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do <laughs> you want these cards, you say? I these before. It does all work. I bought my granddaughter it, but she, I think she's outgrown it. <laughs> How much you want on this one? Uh, three pounds. Oh, that's three quid. I've got some change somewhere in the pocket. Yeah. It's in the bag. No. That'll, that'll change. That'll change for a ten by the time it's No, I haven't. No. no. Guys, you got a quid? I'll tell you that in a minute, now I owe you four quid. <coughs> Need to get some change for four then. Maybe four, I'll just give you five in a minute. There you are, sweet. Thank you. Thank you. It's crap though. It's worth looking at though. It's worth looking at. You never know, do you? You never know. Three for 50p, wasn't it? I haven't got 50p anyway. I've got no, got no change, I'm ever. Happy days. I'll just take these two 50p, yeah? Yeah. Have you got a 50p? Change. So it's like that dead on the fibre now, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep on to this one. Paid up. Original thing where it's better fiver. Well I've got his hat at home. Hey howdy hey! Did ever ride a horse? Oh it works as well. Interactive as well. He keeps saying it's the real buzz like you. Well I'm out with Oh yeah, I'm out with Oh my reckons an eight. Okay, massive out. What's it in the air? Hundred quid? How much she ducks? Another one where he's missing his sword. Sold him before. Called him Darren. I think I got it from here as well last time I was here. Yeah. So How much are the games, bud? Um, you can have them all for tenner. Right. Right. Tenner any good on that? Oh, no, mate. Mate. Um, I think that's ten quid change, eh? Uh huh. Thank you. 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 Thank I'll take it. Oh, show me anything now. So you want a bag then? GoPro's on 50% but for some reason it keeps turning its off. So I just picked up other PS1 games. Is it one size, is it? Oh, one size fits you. After the bag. Uh, one per day. Does that say? Yeah, the use. It says one size fits you. It's a kiddie's bags, aren't they? 
quid fifty for Mario. Why not the GoPro? Not, not playing up as much as it was now, but I got a huge deal on ten pound on all these PlayStation games. What an absolute steal! <laughs> Look at him clearing up with his dodgy legs. Makes me carry this wooden thing. What he's bought, whatever it is, didn't fucking work. The amount I've spent, I've spent about 30 quid of that, not even that maybe. The amount I've spent, I'm quite happy. Make sure Dad takes this in his car. Shove it his side. There you go, mate. I know this is a car boot channel, but remember all these cakes when you was a kid at school? Sponge with custard. Oh, jeez, look at these bad boys. Look at them bad boys. I say it every week. Look at Daz's man, they can't even shut that. Look at that. He was talking to him Polish while he was doing it, alright, you reckon that. <laughs> yeah, he loves us, mate. Best food in the world, 100%. Not even joking, mate. It's got a name on the bottom, it doesn't matter, does it? I've never done it myself before, Commander. And it works. Happy days, mate. Thank you. His sister, isn't it? Hmm? No. Does he give it to his sister, didn't he? No, it gives it to a, a girl. Yeah, No, Bonnie. Oh, right. Just bundled together and that's what I'm thinking. Come on, Darren, let's get all these boxes. Give me what you want. All right, that's stick knee number two of our lifetime completed. Guy who owned this burger van, shout out to that burger van. Had all them boxes, we could just break them and take them, so happy days with that. Um, We've heard there's one at Horncastle, so we're going to head there before Torxy, hopefully get some bargains. A little school field, so hopefully there's a lot of stuff there. But I'll update you with this stuff when we get home. So see you then, drop a like. Well, we said we was off to the next boot sale, which we did. I wasn't going to film it, but look at this. Loads of stuff. Absolutely buzzing boot sale, this. Crazy, it's all full of car booters, no traders. Right, so I'm back home from the boot sale. Uh, the last clip you saw from this video is me at the second boot sale with Daz. So basically what happened was, we went over to Stickney, saw some great people. One guy asked for a picture, so I appreciate you. That made our day. Um, another couple of people, uh, Lincolnshire Picker, shout out to you. If you haven't followed them already, make sure you do. What a legend of a guy. Uh, some other people, anyway. So we go to Stickney, we got the burger. And then one of the other guys watched the videos. I can't remember your name, mate, so I apologize, but uh, we see you all the time. And he said, oh, there's one on it. Um, what's it called? I can't remember what it was called. Somewhere else, Horncastle, a little school field. It's the last one of the year. Starts at 10. So we left Stickney and got there for about five past nine and people was already going in to start buying. So it was like, right, it was quick. Don't film it because we're in a school. You know the gist. But the stuff we picked up there and the prices we paid, one of the best boot sales I've been to. Obviously, I didn't pick up a camera for like 500 quid for a pound and stuff like that, but I have to run through some of the stuff. So, yeah, could have got free videos, probably should have filmed there, but like I say, there was it was a school and there was a lot of kids there, if you know what I mean, like with the parents, stuff, so it's just a lot easier not to. But when I show you some of this stuff, you're going to be like, God, God's sake, should have filmed it, what a bargain. Let's go get it out of the car. Right, let's just get straight through it. It's going to be a really long video. I bet this is about 10 minutes long running through all the stuff I picked up. I'm gonna go for it as quick as I can. So, I'll just start off straight away with the best find. Case is a bit damaged, but I think I've got a better case in the shed so I can sort that out. I don't know if you remember seeing it. I think the GoPro actually cut off. It's like doing this cold weather thing where it cuts the battery off. Anyway, guy pulled the bag out. Had loads of PlayStation 1 games in it. Started going, how much your games, mate? He was like, meh, and I started going through them, counting them, he went, oh, just forget counting, tenner. Happy days. In that bundle, Crash Bandicoot 2. Double disc Final Fantasy. Raymond with no front. Spider-Man 2. Uh, Gran Turismo. GTA. Now that's why I paid the 10, because I know it's a 30 to 40 quid game on its own. Uh, some weird F1 looking game. NBA. London Racer and Final Fantasy 2 disc, a different one. Now there's two, four, six, eight, there's ten games there, pound each. What is going on? Absolute bargains. 
Then we move on. Paid a fiver for Woody. Yes, and I've got another hat in there. I'm Sheriff Woody. Happy days. A bit further on. Paid a fiver for Buzz. With a tassel of bits at the back. Yeah, it's a bit bent there, but no one gives me a hell about that. So that was a tenner for both of them then, because there was a fiver each. Easy money. Pound fifty for Mario. Easy money. Digital camera was the first pickup of the day. Dad's pointed it out, because he's a legend. Three quid. Now it's Traveller. Don't know if it's a good brand. At the low end, digital cameras, you're going to get 15 to 20 quid all day for a, a low end camera. Uh, two things for 50p, this woman said, well, it was 350p, but I can only find two, which was an original Snorlax from 1998. Little tiny one. And then, who remembers these? Funny story about this, really quick, before the video gets too long. This little Empower thing, when I was in year seven, I want to say, seven or eight, we had this as a pet, and we had to take it home and look after it and whatever, and then do a report on it. So that's sentimental value, because it's funny. Uh, also, probably worth okay. something. Okay, time for this here llama to take a little nap. Yeah, go to sleep. See ya. See ya. Uh, pick this up for three quid. All the parts are in it. It's obviously been out of the box. But my missus had Alvis and she sold it for a tenner and it was loose without some of the figures in it on vintage. So I'll give her that for free. She obviously she won't pay for it, but I bought that for free because I give it to her and she'll flog it for some money to buy some crap on vintage. But she usually does. Up next, what are these? Push puppies, brand new with tags. Size 12, so they're my size, but I won't wear this anyway. But they was a fiver. Absolute bargain. Another shoe bargain. This is all from Stickney, by the way, so far, so don't worry about where's new car boot stuff we haven't seen. Just bear with me. Fur lined vans with the tags, not a mark on them, they are brand spankers. Three pound. Now, you're probably screaming at the video at that point because in the bag there was loads more vans, but they obviously didn't have the tags on it. And for some reason, I just didn't pick any more up. And I did see them, I did see them. I've obviously lost the plot, so I apologize for that, but it is what it is. At the end of the day. And if anyone wants to drop a tip, I'll get my son a Pepsi. Happy days. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we will definitely be going back there, but that was the last one of the season. Horncastle. School field. If you've never been, full of car booters, no traders. Happy days. First thing I picked up there was this box for a pound. Inside was a Dyson Hoover part. And you can see all little attachments there. So just a pound, I want to get rid of it. I thought, this is the best car boot I've ever seen. That I've sold recently, I think I got 24.95. And all the other parts will go with it. I'll bundle all that together, 30 quid. Easiest money you'll ever make. Uh, moving on. Pick this up for Benny Boy. Now people are gonna scream in the comments, why, why, it's worth some money, that. Pay the fiver. But Ben is my brother. Simple as that. Uh, some, it's literally pages and pages. I'm gonna have to show the camera the way around. Anybody, if you're watching, I don't know, there's a couple of pages of crap, I think, but there is some. Dad said there was some re reverse hollows or something, I don't know what that means, but like I say, there's pages and pages, mate, full of it. Where's the shiny ones? You said there was Charizard, didn't you? Come on, where's Charizard? If I missed him. He's lying to me. Old Darren the Legend, car boot runner. Pikachus. Charmanders. Can't see no Charizards, but that cost a fiver anyway, and it's going straight to Benny Boy. Oh, so I might have to keep that Charizard folder, because he's quite good at that. <coughs> um, yeah, moving on from there. Pound for a Lion King plush that retailed in the UK at 25 quid a long while ago. They definitely don't sell that anymore. It's brand new with tags. What more do you want from it? Easy money. Uh, two pound, I think this buzz was. Everyone take cover. Now here's the interactive one. So it'll go with that other Woody in there, which is interactive and they'll both talk to each other. So then that's five, six, seven. And because they're interactive, you're probably looking about 35 quid. So you can't complain about that. Uh, as well, Toy Story themed. Pound for both of them. Disney plushes. Oh, that one's got a blue stain on it, which I'm guessing has been washed with that one. They've got batteries in them as well, so they might do something, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Woo! 
Yep, money, absolute money. Uh, two quid for a Minecraft, because it was a young lass selling, uh, young lass selling them, and she's trying to make a bit of money, so I thought I'd help her out. Uh, bench shoes, I did pay up seven quid for bench, and if you what are you paying seven quid for bench for? I'm off on all this, they're my size and they've been worn once. And they look nice with a pair of jeans, and I'll just plug them when I come back. I'm going to save that till the end, that's my favourite buy of the day so far. Five pound paid, yes, this one is, again, the same crap I always buy. A Buzz Lightyear, an official one with a rocket on his back. So that costs two pound fifty, and then Woody, which I've never actually seen this before. On a little bull, it's also two pound fifty. Absolute bargains. Again, he ain't got a hat though, so I don't know. I'll see which one's worth the most, and that's the one I'll put the hat with. Uh, bunch of Madagascar minifigures: the giraffe, the zebra, the lion, and the hippo. Quid. Happy days on 50p, I can't remember. Uh, these was a pound each. Just easy bolos. I've got a cannon calculator. And then a chapel spell frank. But it wouldn't turn on the time, so it needs new batteries. So I thought, yeah, it'd be the same as the other one. I wouldn't screw it and it'd be broke, but it's worth the risk for a quid. Uh, still going. Let's ask someone for a carry bag at the boot sale. Now, some of these are for me, or one of these is for me. Bought a pair of headphones, it says six quid on the top, but I got it for a fiver. That's just literally going to be for the PlayStation 5 because mine started to run out. For some reason, this is where I might have messed up at that Hog Castle one. I got four little bags of Lego figures Lord of the Rings one, Alien Conquest one, Summit's Quest, and another Summit's Quest. And I paid eight quid for all, uh, seven quid for all them. I don't know why, but I did. They're just bargains after bargains, wasn't it? Paid a pound for two brand new pairs, well, 50p each for two brand new pairs of Nike football socks. These are sellers. And then I paid a fiver to a nice, beautiful, oldish lady. If you're watching the videos, and if you do, if you are, I appreciate you for all of the Teletubbies. And they all work. So happy days for that. That was a fiver. And then, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you've watched this far, it's going to be worth it. I paid a tenner for these. Do you know what these are? Brand new as well. Look at that. Loke. Goodyear on the sole. Brand spankers, pretty much. I think she said they were worn once and then didn't, at a wedding and didn't want them anymore. And she knew how much they was worth. Goodyear, if you see Goodyear on the bottom of Lokes, according to the old man Daz, they're worth some absolute peas, so a tenner for them. And that, my friends, is that. What a hit. I don't know if you don't realise already, where is it? Another little bag down there, that was some Torxy straight after. So yeah, free car boots today. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I've got a bit of chocolate from that cake on my face. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Get it. Get it.